Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my July favorites and I thought I was gonna be filming a Nordstrom anniversary sale haul video, but I haven't quite gotten all of my items in. It's taking a really long time for some things to arrive and I actually ordered everything early access, but I don't know what is going on. It's just taking a long time. Um, and I have a few things that I'm now exchanging for different sizes and returning. So um, it'll probably be best if I just wait until I have everything and then I can do a video it'll be too late unfortunately probably to take advantage of the sale since I believe it's only going on for another week or so but um, I will try to get that up as soon as I can and I was really good this year I stuck to things that were on my wish list I actually have two wish lists now I have one for my kind of luxury items and one for um, kind of things that I need in my wardrobe and I stuck to the things that I need for fall and winter uh, pretty much I think all fall and winter and um, got some really great deals on some things at Nordstrom so I will show all of that to you in an upcoming video soon but in the meantime I wanted to talk about um, my July favorites so I'm gonna start with a few beauty products the first one is the lipstick I'm wearing this is from Mac and it is um, the lipstick called Syrup, and I've talked about this in other videos. This is a really nice shade of pink that um, I love wearing when I don't wanna even bother to look in a mirror to apply my lipstick. This is a great formula. It goes on, it's kind of like a Your Lips But Better color, and i um, really, really enjoying this right now. I've also been really loving a new hairspray that I got a few months ago and I'm almost out of it and I need to purchase another. It is from Oribe and it is the Super Fine Strong Hairspray. I actually purchased this at first in the Super Fine kind of regular version and then I tried the Strong because in the hot sticky summer months my hair likes to go frizzy and crazy and I get all kinds of little flyaways and this really helps um, control that and I don't really need a lot of it. It has taken me a few months to get through the first bottle and um, it's quite pricey so I will try to tread a little lightly um, with the second bottle and try to make it last a little longer but um, this stuff is great. It smells fantastic. It works great and I just absolutely love it. So next I'm going to talk about some fragrances that I received from a company called FragranceNet.com they had reached out and wanted to collaborate and offer my subscribers a 25% discount off of any of their fragrances if you purchase on their website in the next month. So I will leave some links down below and I would definitely go and check them out because they have some pretty much every fragrance that um, I have been wanting to get, they have on their website. So um, I've seen the Tom Ford fragrances, all of the exclusive fragrances from the private collection. I have seen... Um, the Byredo fragrances that I have wanted to try out. So I will definitely be doing some shopping there as well, but I'm gonna show you a few of the um, samples that they sent to me that I am absolutely loving. I got to pick two fragrances and um, and I'm really loving them both. So the first one is one that I'm sure most of you are familiar with. It is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. And this I have been actually using. I actually opened the package, but the packaging is really beautiful on this. I'm not sure if I can get that without the light and rounding it out. But um, it comes in kind of this velvety um, box that is blue and with the silver. I just think it is so summery and beautiful. Um, I've actually had sample sizes of this in the past. This is the 1.6 fluid ounce Eau de Toilette and I'm actually wearing this today. It is the perfect summery, fresh, clean scent um, and I really love it. So I was really pleased to get that. And then the other one that I have not worn yet but I have also sampled in the past and was really excited to get is Stella from Stella McCartney. This is the Eau de Parfum and it is in, again, 1.6 fluid ounces and the bottle on this is absolutely beautiful. I love purple so anything that is kind of this deep shade of purple. This is a beautiful floral. Um, I definitely could see me wearing this a lot as we get into the fall um, and into some cooler weather but I'm going to start wearing it now and um, see if I like it in this kind of sticky heat we've been having. Um, I've really been looking for fresh fragrances, but this is a beautiful floral and I definitely know that I will get a lot of use out of it in the months to come. So again, I will leave um, some links to fragrancenet.com uh, 
below. You should je definitely check them out. They have a huge array of pretty much every fragrance that I have wanted to try for quite a while and I will definitely again be doing some shopping there myself and um, if you purchase something in the next month they are offering a 25% discount using my discount code below. So definitely check them out and um, the next thing I'm going to talk about are some items that I purchased from another fellow YouTuber's website. She just launched an online business called CozyAndChic.com and um, you all know her here on YouTube as Christy J. Hi Christy if you're watching. I am absolutely so impressed with um, everything that she has posted online. I have been watching her Instagram account, all of her inspirational photos of her cozy and chic items um, paired up with some beautiful Chanel bags and some luxury. Um, I just think it all just works so well together. It makes me want to wear it all and um, I decided to finally make a few purchases and the first one is actually a t-shirt I am wearing. It says shut the front Dior. I absolutely love this. I also ordered um, this mug that says Haute Coco <laughs> and um, I love it. I, as you can see from my little array of mugs over here, love anything related to Chanel and um, I will probably add this to my little collection. And I have to say the packaging with everything, the way that everything came packaged was just really, really lovely. So much attention to detail. I, I just amazing experience. Um, I ordered a necklace which oh I forgot to bring it in here but I will grab that so I can show you but it came in this really cute little cozy and chic pouch um, and then I ordered what else did I order I ordered so much stuff and I love it all I ordered these really nice leggings these are um, it says new mix but I believe they were called the butter soft or like butter leggings um, they come in one size and they are really really stretchy and really really soft they almost feel like suede or velvet or something um, they are just the suede um, cottony material that is just really really nice so paired up with a tee like this I think that makes for a really cozy and chic outfit and I love the way again she pairs things in photos she's got um, she sent me a little card with a lovely little thank you note um, um, and she's got like the same t-shirt paired up with a cute necklace and a Chanel bag and I just love all these kind of inspirational shots that she puts out on Instagram. I'm just so inspired um, by everything on her website and I am wanting to like order it all and I will definitely be getting more t-shirts in some oversized sizing because I am loving the way that looks. Um, and then she also sent me a thank you I, I haven't even gotten through all the items, but she sent me a little thank you gift um, and it is this Camellia pin, which I have kept in the packaging just for this video because I didn't want to open it. It looks so pretty with her little cozy and chic business cards. Again, everything is so lovely. I'm going to run and get that necklace and one other item that I ordered that I totally forgot to bring in here. So just one second. So I've actually thrown the necklace on. This is the Lariat necklace, I believe it's called, in gold. And um, you can either take the little bar here that hangs and stick it kind of under your shirt and just wear it like that, or you could kind of wear it off center. But what I love is you kind of just stick the little bar through this um, little circle or loop and you can kind of tighten it or leave it a little looser, um, however you like to wear it. I like it kind of like a choker and just hanging down exactly like I have it right now and it's really really pretty and so delicate and I'm just in love with it and the other item that I got which I have posted pictures of on Instagram is this lovely kimono and um, again this is something that you could just throw on over a t-shirt pair it up with a Chanel bag and look kind of cozy and chic and comfortable and um, yeah, I just absolutely am in love with this. Okay, moving on to some fashion items. A few things that I have been loving this month. First is a pair of shoes from Vince. I have become a huge fan of Vince shoes and um, these are some really nice uh, mules that are black suede. I have been wearing these actually to work since I work in a more kind of business casual environment and I can get away with wearing open toes on occasion, especially on Fridays. I like wearing these and pairing them up with a more business casual outfit. My next fashion item that I have been loving all this month are camisoles and I've picked up two 
recently from H&M. I got the same one in kind of a creamy white color as well as in black. And these are in a size medium. I love that they are kind of this silky soft material, very flowy, um, and yet they have kind of a lace detail. They look great under jackets, under sweaters, um, under a kimono, um, just really, really beautiful. And what I really love the most about these are that they have adjustable straps. I got these for a really great price. I think they were around $15 a piece and they have adjustable straps which for me is a must because I am someone who is short-waisted, I have no torso, and I need to be able to adjust my camisole. So I've really been loving those. And the next product I'm going to talk about is something that I wasn't sure if I should feature here on my channel but then I started saying what the heck, you know, everyone goes through the same kind of challenges that I go through so I am just going to talk about it. So when I wear camisoles, I want to look as natural as possible and sometimes strapless bras just don't cut it. I don't like seeing a bra strap but I want to go with a strapless bra but it really doesn't look natural especially if you are someone who is not as well endowed in that area. So I decided to do a little research and um, find something that would work and look natural under uh, really lightweight type of items like camisoles. So I found um, these Nippies Skin and <laughs> this is um, the packaging it comes in. They are some little stick-ons that you can wear under a camisole or any other sort of um, lightweight, very sheer type of top. Um, they come in a little box like this and I'll just show you what they look like. They are exactly what they say. They are a stick-on item that adheres to your skin. So they do sell um, other products that are literally disposable kind of stick-on items, but these <laughs> look like this. And they've got um, this little cellophane type of backing so that they stay sticky. They come with a little kind of disc to, to put them on so they keep their shape. And you do exactly as the package tells you. You stick it, adhere it right onto your skin. It stays put. It um, lasts, I believe, about 20 to 30 wears as long as you clean them and take care of them. So after you wear it, you just run it under some warm water with a mild detergent or soap and um, then just let it sit and air dry and then put it back in its little packaging and in its little box and you can use them over and over. And I have found them to be the perfect solution when I'm wearing camisoles and um, thought I would share um, with those who may be looking for something similar. They're great, especially if you, again, aren't someone who is well endowed in that area and don't have to necessarily worry even really about wearing a bra for support. They're more just for um, function of, you know, covering what needs to be covered and, um, and they're great. So I absolutely love them and I will put a link or the, at least the name of where I ordered these from for anyone who's interested in purchasing um, a similar product. And I got mine in, I think they come in two sizes, a one and a two, and of course I'm a one, um, and they come in three colors, mine are the medium shade, and um, yeah, they're great, so thought I would share those as well. And the last item uh, could not go without a handbag, of course. Um, the bag that I have been absolutely loving this month and trying to use as much as possible when the weather cooperates is my Chanel Classic Flap in the medium large size and in the beige lambskin leather with the silver hardware. I absolutely love this bag. I love it with this t-shirt. I love it with pretty much anything, but I have been wearing it most for going out in the evenings, especially in the summer months. Um, I was ignoring it for a while when I first got it because it is such a kind of light, delicate color, but I did get it pre-loved and it was in great condition. So either someone really took great care of this bag or it really isn't as kind of delicate as it looks. So I decided I'm going to give it a go and wear it as much as possible while I can. And um, so that is definitely my favorite bag of the month. And I had one more favorite that somehow I forgot to include. So I'm just gonna throw it in here at the end. It is the sunglasses from Ray-Ban. They are my Ray-Ban aviators in the all black lenses. I have been loving these as I have been mixing my metals 
and just wanting to throw on black dark glasses in this hot humid gross weather and um, anything that is just as black and dark as possible is what I've been reaching for and these have been an absolute favorite for the month of July. So that is it for my July favorites. I thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions regarding anything I've shown you, please leave it in the comments below. I will put um, those links out for fragrancenet.com and I will list out everything that I've talked about for anyone who may be interested. I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see you soon in my next video.